says just had a conversation with NASA regarding 3i Atlas. As soon as the government reopens, they'll be releasing images or data. Unfortunately, due to bureaucratic reasons, they cannot uh, until then. Then she mentioned uh, Dr. Avi Loeb and said he was correct in his early analysis of the abnormal tail. So that's another official admission that's been made. NASA has also noted this. I'm sure this will be one of the many interstellar objects that we will be able to track now the technology has advanced. So you also began by admitting to the fact that these are some of the observations that have drawn everyone's interest. When can we finally put a full stop? So you, you would probably ha have an answer by the time observations are in, which is probably end of this year. Abnormal tail maps to the object being not part of the solar system. It's coming from a different place. Mm. Normal tail does not automatically mean that there is an alien driving a spaceship. So that is where the What I'm meaning to ask logic. is, are you completely ruling out that possibility? Absolutely. The reason is what I'm saying. If, if this alien spacecraft has to come from maybe, I don't know, 200,000 light years, 200 light years away and then that has that has to be um this life form took maybe 4500 years to form so what is the possibility that something evolved so far away drove so far to meet us why did they come and if they did come why did they not come to Earth to meet humans? And how did they know humans were there? So nothing makes sense. Mm. The timelines don't say. See, humans are trapped because we don't have the capability of space travel in the universe. We can travel. And, and so, so these spacecraft also, if the aliens are the spacecraft, it would also travel very slowly. And it would take lakhs of years to reach the solar system. How would they even survive fuel for example and food relax no okay so it's very easy to come and sprout these theories but okay. very hard to go the details okay spoken like a true scientist